Welcome to this Autodesk Inventor tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the circular pattern command, a handy feature for creating multiple instances of a design element in arranged in a circular pattern. Whether you're designing wheels, gears, or any circular array of features, this tool <clears throat> will help you achieve accurate and consistent results. Let's get started. Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor, your source for practical solutions to your problems with AutoCAD and Autodesk Inventor. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe so you will be notified whenever new videos are published. Also, if you have any questions you would like me to answer, please leave a comment below. Now, on with the video. To demonstrate how to use the circular pattern tool, I'm going to complete this design of a simple hand wheel. My hand wheel already has a hub with a hole placed in it. It has the outer hand wheel itself, and then it has a single spoke with some fillets in place. My goal is to pattern this spoke as many times as necessary around the center of that wheel. So in order to do so, I'm going to go to the pattern panel and I'm going to use the circular pattern tool. Once the dialog comes up, I'm prompted right away to select my features and I can either select them right here in the browser or I can come over here to the history and select them over here as well. So I can say I want the rib and I also want all of the fillets that go along with it. Once I do that, I need to come over here to the dialog box and choose my rotational axis. In this rotational axis, I can either pick a circle that has the center that I want or in this case, I used the Z axis, so I can pick the Z axis here. And it automatically decides to array it 360 degrees, as you can see here. And it gives me the option, the default value, of six spokes. From here, I can come in and I can say, oh, no, I only want three, or maybe I want five. Um, I could even come in and I could change the number of degrees. So I could say, I only want them to go through 180 degrees in which case you would get something like that. In this case, <clears throat> I do want it going through the full 360 degrees, so I'm going to put it in. Now, on this one right here, I have an option of rotating them or not rotating them, but not rotating them in this case wouldn't make any sense since it's not going to make the hand wheel. So now that they're in here, I can choose OK. You can see that it patterns them, and it also includes a, a node in your history here with different features. As with rectangular patterns, I could come in and I could sub, uh, I, I could um, suppress any one of those three that I want to just by right clicking on it and choosing the suppress tool. If I decide that I want to come back in and maybe this wheel needs to have four spokes, you can change that by simply double clicking on the circular pattern here and changing the number to four. <clears throat> 